it has become known as the temple of skateboarding. It's our second home. If you want to skate, the doors are open. That's always been the way. But now the doors to this skate park on the outskirts of Buenos Aires are closed indefinitely. When Argentina entered lockdown in mid-March, a park did a 180. They dismantled their installations to make small ramps for local skaters, generating some income to avoid closing for good. This skate park opened just before Argentina's 2001 financial collapse, making them experienced at navigating economic instability. It's like a built-in mechanism that we have, learning to stay in business and dealing with situations like this. This pandemic did not hit us out of the blue. We've had a very difficult past couple of years. Two years of recession and one of the highest inflation rates in the world was already placing financial pressure on companies like this across Argentina. Now, as a result of the coronavirus pandemic, Argentina is expected to be one of the hardest hit economies in Latin America. The pandemic has compounded the region's existing economic problems, and some predict Argentina's economy could contract by more than 11%. And here, that economic downturn translates to more people falling under the poverty line. When the left-leaning president, Alberto Fernandez, took office last December, he prioritised combating the country's social emergency. But as a result of the coronavirus, the United Nations expects Argentina's poverty rate to increase to 40%. While the country negotiates debt repayment with international creditors, Argentina's government has given financial aid to low-income sectors and companies to stave off an even greater social crisis during the pandemic. The problem in the country is, again, is that the sustainability of these programs is under question. Um, you know, when you look at a country like Chile or Uruguay or, or, or Peru even, that have ample access to international credit, um, there aren't many fears that you know, a large fiscal uh, deficit will uh, lead to an erosion of living standards through inflation. In Argentina, unfortunately, this is the case. The government hopes recently announced public works will reactivate the economy. The temple hopes it can stay afloat long enough to open its doors next year and celebrate its 20th anniversary. Joel Richards, CGTN in Buenos Aires.